Hey there, this is Anonymous Tea Podcast. This is the backup channel to my main channel, Anonymous Tea. Uh, so do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe uh, to both platforms. I thank you guys so much for tuning in. In this video, we are discussing Love Island All-Stars, Episode 4, and uh, it's just not giving you guys... Uh, in this episode, uh, Louis is continuing to give, you know, the runaround to both Kaz and Demi, although the body language clearly looks like he prefers Demi compared to Kaz, but basically is just giving Kaz all this unnecessary lip service versus just, uh, you know, letting her down gently. It seems that uh, Liberty, she is all in still on Mitch, who Mitch is all in on anybody who is not named Liberty. And he is really trying to make a go at Demi and, and all of these things and, and trying to make Fetch happen with her. Also, uh, there is instant regret from Molly, like I told you guys in the previous video, from her kissing Chris because it was completely and utterly awkward. If you just got into a fight with your ex and somebody whisks you away, the last thing you're thinking about is just kissing somebody uh, if you're upset and, and feeling all of these different emotions. It was just very weird how he just like planted a kiss on her and it, and it had nothing to do with anything. And so she's avoiding him. She doesn't want to talk to him because uh, clearly this was not what she thought was going to happen. And she thought he was just there to comfort her. And then meanwhile, Chris is up here bragging to the different guys that he kissed Demi. Everybody but Colm uh, was the last to know about this kiss. Uh, so Colm was a little bit pissed because he was just like, whatever. And he had like a non-reaction, like he was like pissed, but like had a non-reaction. And my thing is, if you want this girl back, you know, you're, you're doing the absolute bare minimum. And I think uh, Molly was expecting, you know, some type of jealousy, some type of reaction. And, and Colin just gave nothing. He gave absolutely nothing, you guys. Uh, which is why I don't know why they're back. Uh, because uh, the storyline is drawn out. So now they're trying to shift into this Louis Kaz and uh, Demi storyline. And it's just not giving. It just isn't giving at all. So uh, because Jake had left, we are short one male bombshell. We are short one male. So season one, uh, you know, Josh Ritchie uh, comes back to the show uh, he, uh, then comes in and asks, uh, Hannah for a date. Uh, then he asks about her BBL and what work she's got done on the way out of the date. Uh, also, um, then has, uh, both Georgia's as well out on this date. Toby is pretending to be distraught, even though he could really care less if we're keeping it a buck. Um, he is fooling so many people with his acting job this time around. If you watched him on Love Island Games, you would know that he is not in fact into Georgia uh, for what it's worth. He is just waiting for a bombshell or better yet Molly to expand her horizon and open up her options to more people. So nonetheless, uh, Josh is talking about, you know, his past with his exes, how he had a situationship with one of the Georgias, how they were like kissing back and forth, but nothing really materialized and, and all of these other things. Uh, so nonetheless, uh, the girls bring back Josh to the villa and, you know, basically he doesn't, you know, he kind of keeps things close to his vest and basically tells Toby that his Georgia, you know, was the only one that seemed the most couple up, but everybody else was pretty open uh, to see what's what. And so then we fast forward to the nighttime and, uh, you know, Everybody's still talking. Uh, Louise and uh, Kaz, they're still trying to have a conversation. Although Louise is socially distanced away from her. Kaz is trying to get him to go up on the terrace so they can kiss. Uh, nonetheless, uh, Luis does end up on the terrace, but it's not with Cash, it's with Aunt Demi, and he's up here rubbing on her booty and, and flirting with her. He is much closer to her than he was with Kaz, and next thing you know, they start kissing on the terrace, you guys. And they kiss like multiple times on the terrace and on all of these things. And so Demi's all ecstatic that Luis has chosen her. So she's like singing from the rooftops. And so uh, Kaz is though inside the dressing room uh, talking to Chris. And Demi runs in there. She's like so excited. She has like no lipstick on her lips. And she runs in there with her phone in her hand saying she needs to find her phone in front of Kaz. And Kaz is looking at her like, what? 
And so, you know, her and Louis thought they were doing something sneaky and that they could separate from each other very quickly, but it was pretty obvious to the villa what had went down, what had transpired. So they were doing a terrible job. So then Cass finds Liberty and tells Liberty she thinks that Louis and Demi just kissed. And, uh, you know, the way that she reacted, the way she responded, and the way she said she was looking for things that were already in her hands was very sus. And so then, after that, uh, you know, Demi goes to try to sit next to Cass and Liberty, and it is completely awkward. You could hear, like, a pin drop. And um, for some reason, Kaz is getting dragged for this, uh, for not, you know, I guess, responding in the way people are expecting her to with Demi. Uh, but all she did was she just made an observation based off of what was said. And then it's awkward on Demi's part, too, because these are real friends in real life outside of the villa. So she's trying to come up with a way to try to, you know, convey this information out to Kaz. So then from there is like Louise is like buzzing about this kiss and everything else and, and um, all the things. There is a text that tells everybody to get to the fire pit. We are having our first recoupling that is taking place. Uh, and then a part of the cliffhanger is, of course, that Josh gets to pick first. Not sure who he's going to pick. I don't really care who he's going to pick, um, you know, for, for all intents and purposes. Uh, nonetheless, uh, there's also tea because there is a picture floating around of Molly and Colum, um, what appears to be cuddling some in bed, despite these fake arguments that they are having in front of the villa, um, trying to make it seem like they have been broken up all this time, but they look very much together in these bed scenes. Then the scene for tonight is the aftermath of the recoupling because we can hear in the background before uh, the episode ends for episode four that, you know, Kaz confirms to Mitch that Demi and Louise, in fact, did kiss. And Mitch basically is encouraging Kat, saying, don't let a kiss deter you. Still go after Louis, even though he knows Louis does not like Kaz. But he wants this for his own selfish reasons so that he can couple up with Demi. So in the preview for tonight, it looks like uh, Lewis is cussing out Mitch and is pissed off that, you know, what presumably might happen is Kaz ends up choosing, uh, you know, Lewis, um, despite the kiss with Demi, uh, and it causes chaos. And Mitch ends up in a couple with Demi and, and whatever else. Like, that seems what to be the most logical thing. Uh, because of how pissed Lewis was with Mitch, but we will continue to see ultimately what happens. But that pretty much was the episode. Like I said, we need some challenges. We need some more bombshells. We just need some more energy because these people aren't giving and people are complaining, oh, it's because they know each other. Well, on Love Island Games, they knew each other too and they gave more than what this cast is giving. Here's the thing. You need to just pay the people who are the entertainment and not just, you know, accept anybody who accepted to be on All Stars because you get boring episodes like these uh, to where everybody is fighting to stay awake. Uh, so there is that. So let me know your guys' thoughts in the comments. Please do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you're notified the moment I post new content on my channel. And with that being said, I'll talk to you guys again very soon.